the one room I have been saving for last, which I think you probably know is, is, um, where is it? This one, the West Coast Mainline stuff. Um, hello everyone, welcome back to the Train Sword series. And last time we checked in, we did all, every introduction based on, uh, um, I forgot, but it, it yeah, a uh, Frankfurt, uh, the folder, yes. And now we're going to where we. This is what I've been saving for last. Uh, all of that, and with all of this. Yep, there's a lot there. Let's see what. Oh, oh my word! There's the 1972 stock uh, with the wrong uh, units. Uh, the 7110. Okay, at least we can get to from London, Houston to Watford. Um, 66. With not that much services, and of course the 390. I wish it went to Birmingham. Um, well, the the 377 just doing those services, and the unbranded uh this one with functional guard. Right, let's head to the introduction of the route. <laughs> That is if it ever gets me in the mode, and here we are. Euston to Milton Keynes route. Welcome to London Euston, located on the West Coast Main Line in the UK. The West Coast Main Line is one of the busiest mixed traffic routes in Europe and one of the most important railway lines in the UK. For some reason, I recognize Looks those like same posters. Fix that while you're here. Oh, it's literally just there. There are more tasks to find. Be sure to apply the route maps, restock defibrillators, help delivery robots, and find football scarves. Oh, okay. Follow the markers. This says all. Train before departure. This is literally all. Uh, oh, the, the three fifty don't stop there. Or maybe. And there's Houston. This is this is seven one ten there. Uh, I'm in the carriage. Take a seat. The train is just about to leave. I'll take that seat. I don't mind looking at the, a, a train right over here. And looking at Houston, um, I'm literally facing it the wrong side. There's Houston. With all of that. And in the district, this is the train to London, Euston, but we are literally at Euston. Like, oh, this is the train to Milton Keys. Like, why aren't we moving? Okay, ne never mind, now we're moving. West Coast Main Line, which started construction in 1837, stretches 399 miles from London to Glasgow. Including the additional lines that veer off to other major cities, the route mileage comes to a total of around 700 miles. That is a long way. Right, before I got me out of the cab, it's time for our the thumbnail of the day. And also to show off a bit of the 392. Uh, oh no! Initially, the line was not intended to be a single. Hold race, on. It was put together through a series of local lines that first created the Northwestern Railway in 1846. Yep. Um. Let me do this again, because for some reason it's, it's getting all this in. Uh. Yeah. Yeah, and finally, I'm going to have to check that. Hold on. Railway in 1923. Because if if it if it did so, I corrupt the save thingy. Then its ownership has changed frequently over the years. Most notably, owned by London Midland and Scottish Railway, thanks to the Railways Act of 1921 that joined many railway companies together. There's some 390. In the 1950s, the railway was upgraded to have electrification and newer intercity services with speeds of up to 110 miles per hour 
with most of the line having a top speed of 125 miles per hour. Well, what happened to the APT then? This train is a class 350-1 electric multiple unit manufactured between 2004 and 2014 and is part of the Desiro family. And yeah, we're in the underground for a bit. Due to action abounds along the bustling four-track West Coast mainline in Trainsim World. Dash through the complex layout of London Euston aboard the hard-working class 350 and embark across the northwest corner of the capital to Milton Keynes with expresses and stoppers alike. Oh, and it's gone. Okay, um, yep, that's all there is. Um, in fact, before we have, before we dive into the 350, uh, wait for this thing to load, as it's already loading. Right, um, let's go here. Uh, there's our little introductions, at least it's at the little circuit. Um, and oh my word, there's a lot of hour services there. Um, a bunch of uh, shunting areas. A bunch of 377 stuff. They're quite small, but fun. And depending, Northampton. And oh, of course, the 390. Um, all of that to Man Piccadilly. To, I don't see any going to uh, Blackpool North. That's probably because that. That's probably because the two two one maybe does that. Well, it used to. I don't know. Anyways, to the three fifty we go. I said the three fifties of three fifties. Now let it, now In this training module, you'll be taken through the operation of this Class 350-1 electric multiple unit. For this introduction, you'll be driving the train a short distance and performing passenger operations. What's that say? Not in. I bet the door is not gonna... Okay. Let that door shut. Sit in the driver's seat. Okay. Set the master key to on. Of course, it, well, hold on. It's like that. Have the door like that up. Okay, let's that's, that's just, that's just pretend they're mess with those. To neutral. This electric multiple unit, or EMU, features dual electrification and can be used with both third rail and overhead electrification. Great. Uh, oh, battery. The AC power. Set the pantograph switch to the up position. Yep, it's all up. Set the headlights to daylight to indicate to others that this train is operational. There's a backup. And there's the door button. And of course, um, they don't have the north wire, the, the logo. As always. Anyways, um, we're facing the wrong way, but that's it's all good. It says calling at nothing. Well, let's go through here, and I can't go through. But looking, looking here, uh, the PIS view screen nothing. Set the reverser to forward. This controls the direction of travel. To forward or forwards. There's no five. Why? Your yeah, horn sounds like the same. Even though there's no signalers at this area, I forgot. On level grades, you can coast to maintain your speed, reducing energy consumption and stress on the motors. When coasting, always Break remove power one. of the gradient. As changes could cause the train to speed up or slow down. Yep. Keeping to speed limits is important. If you begin over speeding, apply a small amount of braking force by moving the combined by moving of dot 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 the braking range. Um. Did I have that off for a minute? You're approaching the station. 
Begin applying a okay, no introduction for that, okay. Moving the combined power brake handle into the braking range. Okay, here comes Metro South. Actually, the, despite I've um, never dri I, I've driven it in Train sim Simulator 2022, but it's actually quite good. Um, the brakes are quite good, actually. The DRA. Let's not mess with that. Power reduction. No. I don't. Well, why? Why? Well, why is that even a button? That's a that's an e stop. Well, let's let's experiment. Nice job. The train has safely come to a stop. Great. You can now use the passenger door controls to open the doors. Right. Okay, let's have a look here. here. Did, did I just see the thing just open? Or was it was it just was was it just like that? Okay, it, it was always like that. Never mind. Right now, to stop at unit D select, I have no idea what is that. But let's 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 not use that. Sound like some. I don't know. Okay, the first order trains like okay ish, fine ish, all of that. Um let's let's have a look. So the cab is a bit kinda tucked in. As a bit crammed. And just realizing as we are approaching this little tower there, and that tower over there, the station is just not that far away. Ooh. And as the junction switched for us. Come on. Let's let's not overrun. Oh, one thing I, I haven't done is I haven't downloaded all my sound packs for, so I, I have to probably have to look if they actually are Trains One Five compatible. Well, if they aren't, that's fine. Good work. That concludes oh, all the basics even, of operating this even not opening the doors. Why? Well, I, I let's just leave the doors open. Complete the okay. What's this about tree? Okay, um, let's just jump to the 377. It's just gonna just lead to, uh, I don't know where, but you know, we're, we're all familiar with the 377, right? In this training module, you'll be taken through the operation of this class 377 slash 2 electric multiple unit. What difference is this? This is slash 2. For this introduction, you'll be driving the train a short distance and performing passenger operations. Great. Uh, I okay. What are we gonna close it? Uh, let's just push you there. Sit in the driver's seat. Set the master key to on. Set the headlights to day running to indicate to others that this train is operational. Yep. S open the doors. The infamous doors. Okay, we're four car. I thought we'll be like a three car for a, a minute. There's no difference except the fact that the southeast, the south logo has kind of changed a bit. And yes, the south in the pantograph. Okay, so actually the three seven seven it actually has a pantograph. How did I not notice that? Set the reverser to forward. This controls the direction of travel. There we go. They can't be using sound packs. So this is actually quite good. So 
I was like the same actually from the original Train Simulator 2 uh, London Commuter 377. On level grades, you can coast to maintain your speed, reducing energy consumption and stress on the motors. When coasting, always remain vigilant of the this gradient as changes could cause the train to speed up or slow down. This is actually an AC in a DC. Keeping to speed limits is important. If you begin over speeding, apply a small amount of braking force by moving the combined power brake handle into the braking range. Great. Um, now where we go? Um, is, is that no? They had never actually fixed that screen. Oh. And still to this day, um, they don't You're make this functional. Begin applying a small amount of braking force by moving the combined power brake handle into the braking yep. range. But here it comes, right now. So, obviously they haven't changed a single bit of this 377. A little bit of this. A little bit of this. A little bit of that. Just a bit there. And a bit of that. Slow and steady, ease the brakes. Nice job. The Doors train is released. Safe. Yep. I, I, they, they click all release, but in fact, I was supposed to click door release. They're they're the same thing. Why? Close the doors and drive to the next station unguided. Got it. Now, how long do you have to wait for? Until the doors are fully shut. Okay, um, th honestly, I'm just waiting for to do that class 391 where we where ha also has a tilt, which is far great. Right, um, the next stop is Metro Dorf, but actually the, the next stop is never the next stop. In reality, um, the, the station is just right in front of us. The thing is, the train breaks on this one isn't that bad. I mean, I remember use, I remember um, flying through the station on this one at 90 miles an hour, but that was uh, during a test one back on the train to 2020 before I even started the channel. Five, four, three, two, one. Now, I I had made a recording on that Good one work. where I did a Blue test run, but that that file is currently train. missing. Um, okay. And of course you get no metal. Okay. Right. Um let's go to our main attraction. Uh what's this? You've learned to do those now. Haven't I done? Yeah, now I learn now I know how to do that, we can do that, but this is to but now um let's actually go to something we're all familiar with and you know what that means, the three ninety. <laughs> It's time to tilt. This is what we've all been waiting for. This is this is the thing that you and uh, and me have been waiting for. And we're already in the 390 already. In this training module, you'll be taken through the operation of the Pendolino Class 390 electric multiple unit. To begin, insert and set the master key to on. Let's set up all safety systems or whatsoever. Set the headlights to indicate that this train is operational. Yep. Oh, why is that night? After setting the reverser, you will hear an alarm. 
This is the tilt authorization and speed supervision alarm and will need to be acknowledged. Okay. Set the reverser to forward. This controls the direction of travel. The tilt alarm will sound for a second time. Acknowledge the of alarm course. again. TAS uses communications between an onboard computer and trackside speed to inform the train of the enhanced permissible speed, as well as disabling the system when not in speed supervised zones. When in speed supervised zones, the blue speed supervised Settle light will illuminate and allow the train to drive at the enhanced permissible speed. Yay, that's good. When outside of the speed supervised zones, the blue light will not be illuminated and you will be restricted to the maximum permissible speed. If you exceed the enhanced permissible speed by more than three and a half miles per hour, the TAS warning light will illuminate and an alarm will sound indicating that you must reduce your speed. Okay. The light will extinguish and the alarm will stop when you are below the enhanced speed limit. What have I just clicked? At more than 6 miles per hour above the enhanced permissible speed, the TAS warning light will flash and a penalty brake application will be oh, enforced. No. To stop the penalty brake application, you must reduce your speed and press the intervention reset button. Great. That's great. Um, what's that? Open the passenger doors to allow boarding. Oh, I have to open those switches to actually open the doors? Wait, I, I bet the horn's gonna be so loud when I don't use it. That's not the horn! Close the doors before departure. Ask station team to load bike. Okay, it's a bit of bike. Move the power handle into the power range to get moving. Right. There's a bit of. Uh, we reach 75 mile an hour. Great. Well, we're. Um, I have no idea what, how many cars we're at. One, two, three. Nine, I think. Where's the motor? I can hear motors everywhere. That is definitely not the horn of the 390. I can tell you that straight away. They sound very lo loud than that. Okay, at least the, the speed set's doing its thing. Oh, it's reach, oh it's reach 75 miles, oh that's gonna take a bit. And here's the tilt. Right, we're not we at 75, well, it's a bit. Just a bit. What's that? Brake pipe community uh, continuity test. I have no idea what that is. Now you've built up some speed, you can return the power handle to the off position to begin coasting. Okay. The Class 390 was developed as part of a plan to overhaul services between London and Glasgow. Wasn't that supposed to be the, AP the APT? Originally just an 8 car formation, demand meant that the Class 390s now appear in 9 and 11 car formations, capable of carrying more than 450 passengers. Great! After 20 years and 300 million miles, Avanti's Class 390s have undergone a full refurbishment, preparing them for the future. Before they are being run over, being run by British Railway, again. Okay, let's... Um... Wait, we're actually nearly done with a circuit, so prepare for breaks in I have no idea how many minutes. But yes, this is us tilting. Just like the APT.
It's gonna be f a bit foy. <laughs> That's a sander. Okay, um, let's not mess with those. I was just gonna break the train like what happened last time. You're approaching the station. Begin applying a small oh. amount of braking force by moving the power handle into the braking range. Oh no, this is, is that the only brake? Wait, there's a six. Then it's an emergency brake after that. Yeah, we're going down on break. Despite it being 20 years old, it's still quite useful, but possibly not anymore in the next 20 more years. Oops. No, 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 no! I didn't want you to put your neutral! Oh, nice stopping though. Ask station team to load bike. A bit of that. A bit of that. Okay, um... That's a zero. That's an e-brake. And that's also an e-brake. Why is there two e-brakes here? So that the, the person that's sitting there can also set an e-brake. That's a bit sneaky. Right there. Two e-brake. Good work. That Have that door open. The basics of operating this train. Oh, that's that door too. Oh, uh, never mind. It just stopped. Uh, anyways, um, that's all for the West Coast Minute introduction. All that. Uh, yep. Um, there will be a post. Well, I it might be made uh, whenever. Um, indicating you know, which one should we do first, and uh, we'll see where that goes. All it says here it says drive a few high uh, high speed along the West Coast and all that. So. The next video will decide on will be decided on new lot, which and that will be great. So thanks for watching. Cheerio.